हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ द सीरीज क्रिमिनोलॉजी बींग प्रजेंटेड बाय सी एस एस वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक क्राइम एज अ सोशल प्रॉब्लम अंडर दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस डेवियंस इन डिटेल लेट स्टार्ट दिस लेक्चर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्राइम एज अ सोशल प्रॉब्लम एज अ क्राइम ऑलवेज टेक्स प्लेस इन अ सोसाइटी so whenever a crime takes place in any society it creates problems for that particular society for example a murder take place somewhere it will have long lasting side by side the short term impacts just after the incident it will create a chaos like situation in the surroundings police will reach this part and will start investigating the messages the incident and all the processes after it will put a psychological impact on residents also next 5 to 6 days will be very odd for the residents of that particular area and in longer run the area will get the label of murder incidents so this murder is one example all the other crimes also impact in the same way and become a great problem for the society so in this way a crime becomes a social problem there are various forms of crime which become the social problem here we will discuss deviance the meaning of the word deviance is the fact or state of diverging from usual or accepted standards especially in social or sexual behavior we can further simplify it by saying that deviance is basically violation of social norms and cultural standards as we know that there are different norms values and cultural standard in different societies following those norms values and cultural standards are considered as normal things but going against these standards is considered as abnormal act and it usually could not get the acceptance so doing such an act which is against the norms values and cultural standards of a particular society is known as deviance in one line just remember that going against the accepted norms of a particular society is called deviance now we will study two definitions of deviance first one is given by lois weston according to him deviance is a behavior that is contrary to the standards of conduct or social expectations of a given group or a society second definition is given by robertson according to him deviance is a behavior that violates significant social norms and is disapproved by large number of people so these both definitions are also supporting the arguments which we have made above that deviance is to go against the accepted norms now we will study the types of deviance keep in mind that there are two types of deviance one is formal deviance and other one is informal deviance first one formal deviance formal deviance is such a deviance which is considered as a criminal activity such an activity upon which court punished the criminal formal deviance is of serious type we can take example of murder and theft under this type of deviance killing someone or doing robbery are considered as acts of deviance in almost every society because these both the acts are against the cultural norms and values and they are also of serious type so court will be involved and punish the culprits so all those acts which are against the norms values and cultural standards of a society and are of serious type like murder theft etc are called formal deviances second type is informal deviance informal deviance is doing something different in daily routine upon which the people may criticize by saying that person don't have ethics but these acts are not harmful for the society for example if someone is moving on road while wearing winter clothes in summer then it will look totally different as all the other persons will be wearing 
the summer clothes. Similarly, the masses living in village usually go to bed early and wake up even before the sunrise. So if someone in village stay awake all night and sleeps in the morning, then this act is also against the norms of that village. In both the cases, persons are doing something different from the other people. But their such acts are of not serious threat. They are against the society but not harming anyone. So, in such a situation, there will be no legal action, there will be no punishment. So, all those acts which are against the norms, values and culture of a society but are not harmful and of serious type will be considered as informal deviance. So, deviance which is of serious types, harmful for society and are punishable is formal deviance. And the deviance which is neither of serious types nor harmful for society and is even not punishable is called informal deviance. So this was all about deviance. This was all from today's lecture. The lectures on criminology will be continued in coming videos. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more videos. Goodbye.